Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Miss Faye and this is my world. Okay, um, I had a special request and uh, today I'm gonna grant that request. And the request was, is to talk about the DL woman. Now this is a, a lesbian that is uh, presenting herself as a heterosexual. Okay, all right, uh, this is a tricky situation. Now, <clears throat> I have seen these women not realizing what I was looking at, honestly, but I had to go to the men, the men to find out the effects of the DL woman on them. Okay, all right, here we go. Now, um, the DL woman is a closeted lesbian for some time. Okay, let me explain that. Now, this is what the men is telling me. The men, the men tell me that the DL woman will pretend to be heterosexual when she decides she wants to have children. Okay. Now this woman prefers having uh, sex with other women, but she wants children. So now what does she do? She will temporarily distance herself from her lesbian partner and go with a male that she chooses to father her child. But the but the evil part of it is she is not telling the man her intentions. You see, he he just thinks that um, he's met a nice woman and uh, he is working on building a relationship with her. Okay. And some of these women go as far as marrying the guy to keep up the deception. And they still got their girlfriend over here on the side, you see? But they want this baby. All right. Now, the men are telling me that once the baby is born, these women have the nerve to leave the man, pick up the baby, leave the man, and then sue him for child support. Ladies, if we are doing that, shame on us. If that's the DL woman, I say shame on you. And believe me, you're going to pay for that. You're going to pay for it. Because you have taken advantage of another person. You have been deceptive. You see, uh, <clears throat> I always thought, and, and I didn't know, you know, I, I noticed uh, lesbians, when they're together, somebody's pregnant, and you're wondering, well, how did that happen? Well, I figured that they had negotiated some deal or something with the man. I, you, you know that two women cannot conceive. So, in my mind, I was thinking that Maybe they just found a super suitable male and the male agreed to impregnate one of them and bam, here we go. He has given the lesbians his seed. But the men are telling me that that's not, that's not so. That the lesbians are pretending that they are heterosexual and want a relationship with the man until they conceive the child and then they announce that they are gay to leave the man, sue him for child support, and then live the rest of their lives with their lesbian lovers and his baby. That's, that's wrong. That, that is as wrong as the men on the DL. It's people, what I'm trying to tell you is this is the same 
evil spirit. You see, these spirits don't, don't have a gender, They're male or female. It is a evil spirit. And when the evil spirit has taken over a person, the person just goes along with what the spirit, the urge, the urge of it. Now, I was uh, listening to a DL woman who was confessing that, you know, things happen in their childhood that make them prefer women and not men. Uh, in most cases, the men have mistreated the women or whatever, and then they did, somehow they crossed the line and went to a woman. But when it comes to having children <clears throat> under the cloud of deception, that's what makes it evil. And you've heard, you've had this child. <clears throat> Think about it. You've had this child not on a positive foundation, but on a rocky, evil foundation. Because you have decept, you have deceived someone to conceive this child. You understand? And then <clears throat> we're not going to even talk about how confused the child is going to be growing up in the household with uh, two mothers. We, we, we're not going to go there. We, we're not going to go there. But we're going to talk about the deception of the DL woman. Okay? The deception of it all. If you have a preference, a sexual preference to women, and you are a woman, then you should not be trying to to trick men into impregnating you. Because you, with free will, you have chosen that you're going to be a lesbian. And lesbians don't have children. Just like gay men don't have children. But in today's society, you see, they're fighting against that. They, they want to have children. They want to have their cake and eat it too. They, they want to be same sex, engage in same sex relations, but they want to bring these innocent little children into that abomination. Okay. I, I know that word is going to ruffle you. This abomination. Uh, let me say a disclaimer. I'm spiritual. I am not religious. And and I um the messages that I present to you are from a spiritual perspective. And when the spirit moves me to tell you something, sometimes it comes out in a harsh way. It comes out in a way that may be hard for some to accept. But but this is the spirit talking to you. You understand? Through Miss Faith. I, I just want you to understand that. <clears throat> but on when we're talking about the DL, the DL man or the DL woman, what they're doing is evil. Going around deceiving people with this false persona of who they are, who they are, to get what they want. Understand? They are false people. False. False. You see? And uh, <clears throat> it did, I'm telling you, the men, the men are very, very upset about this. You see, if the if you women, if you come out here and feel like you can do everything the man does, two evils don't make a right. You understand? If you just won't love, well then, all right, go for love. But why drag innocent people 
into these situations that are confusing, especially to young people. Now think about it. All right. Let's go down to the real nitty gritty of it all. All right. All right. Let's suppose. All right. I'm a lesbian. I'm living with my lesbian lover. Okay. Now we, let's say we adopt. We, we don't get pregnant. We adopt a kid. We adopt a little girl. Okay. Now, this little girl is going to look at us as role models for her. Teach her what a woman is, what a woman is supposed to be, the role of a woman. Okay. So now this little girl is living in the house with you and your lesbian lover. And you try, <laughs> and you're the model. So you tell me, why wouldn't that girl this decide or to choose a woman for herself when she sees that being with a woman is perfectly fine, acceptable. It's perfectly acceptable. We'll say that. Now let's flip it. Flip it. The same thing with the men. Two gay guys. They adopt a little boy. A little boy. The little boy sees them together, sees them kissing and hugging and whatever together. The little boy is looking at them as role models for what he will be when he grows up. People are acting like they, they're not understanding this. These poor children are looking to adults for guidance. You understand? But if this little boy is growing up in a house where the two daddies is kissing and having sex with each other or whatever they're doing and acting like one is acting like a woman and one is like a, acting like a man. You don't think that that's confusing to these little kids? That is very confusing. Very confusing. And and with the women, because the women, I'm, I'm talking to you women because you are the emotional creatures and the intelligent creatures. And I can understand why uh, a number of women had turned to other women because they had been mistreated by men. Most times, these are where these lesbians are coming from. They got totally mistreated by men and they decided to try a woman. Okay. And women are softer. You understand? Most, <laughs> most of them, because I've heard some lesbians say that some of them are, are rougher than men. But we, we're not going there. We, we're not we're going to go in there. We're not talking about their culture. We're talking about surviving. Surviving this situation. Because it, it can have a long lasting. A lifetime effect on the innocent children that you bring into this situation. People, I'm thinking that. If you both are lesbians or if you both are gays to bring children in, you are being selfish. That's my take on it. <clears throat> you are being selfish. You're only thinking about your own pleasure and contentment. You're not thinking about those poor children. You're not. You're not even giving them an opportunity to make their own choices when you're presenting only one choice in front of them. You're only presenting one model. There's no, there's no male, female. It's either two males or two females. Where's the choice? You making a choice for them. You making a choice. When they grow up, I, you know, I, I see, um, 
I see these shows on TV and they try to say, you know, just because, you know, same sex partners live in the house and they have a child that the child doesn't grow up to be uh, uh, gay or lesbian matching the, the parents. I say that's false. I say that social media is feeding you a lie when they tell you that. Because it cannot help but affect the child. The child is looking to the parents for guidance. You see? And to, for the child to, to find their sexual identity, they, they got to look to the adults. Who else are going to look to? Who else are going to look to? You understand? And even if two lesbians are raising a little boy, it's still confusing. It is very confusing. You understand? Because in this dimension, in this particular dimension, it's male and female. It's male and female to procreate. Offspring. From that union, from the male and the female, you see? And then the offspring of the offspring, you see, looks to the male, looks to the female, and then identifies with either male or female. But both are presented to the offspring. You follow me? But if the offspring is only presented to males or two females, it's confusing. It's confusing. They're probably identified with which, whichever model is there the offspring will probably identify because these identifications happen very early in a child's life. It's not after they grow up and then they decide they want to be this or want to be that. It happens very early in the child's life. You see? And this, this is why I say it's evil because you are molding you are molding your, your choices onto an innocent, an innocent child. That's what I say. That's what I say. You understand? In this dimension, it's male and female energy. That's the way that the, that the, that the world was made. Male energy and female energy. Not all male energy and all female energy. It's both. When offspring come, they should see both. You understand? Now, if they, even if they grow up in a house with just a male or just a female, the confusion isn't there because it's not two males there living together as one or two females together living together as one. See, that's where the confusion comes in. That's where the misguidance comes in. It's not that you are a single parent raising your child. That's a, that's a totally different situation. But when you make a choice to bring in a innocent into your situation, think about it, people. Think about it. Because you, you will face the consequences of the choices that you make. That you make. And, and this is a big choice. You understand? This is a big choice. And, and my opinion, again, I'll tell you, I think that they are selfish, extremely selfish, to bring an innocent child into a situation like this. 
If you want to be gay or if you want to be lesbian or whatever you want to be, be that. Go ahead. Be that. But don't bring innocent children into it. And do not, women, do not go out here tricking men to have children just because you want a child in your lesbian relationship. You're going to pay for it. You will pay for it. Karma will visit you for that. Karma will come down on you for that when you least expect it. I'm telling you people, you have to be careful for, for what you do. Because again, what you what you sow is what you reap. I'm going to keep saying that. What you sow is what you reap. And if you sow these seeds, these selfish, self-indulgent seeds, you're going to get it back. And it's not going to be good. So people, I'm going to end it here. I, I hope that you understand and receive this message. Understand, these messages are not to make you feel bad or down or any way. These messages are to enlighten you to the truth. It's not to criticize. We are all learning. And as we learn and we know better, that's how we can do better. We are all learning and we all make mistakes. And we all do what we know to do or what we have been taught to do. But I'm telling you, I'm here to help to lift you up. To lift you up. I know uh, you probably noticed that I, I wear the hat that said, I have the enlightened on today, but I wear a hat that said light worker. I'm going to explain what a light worker is. A light worker is a person that brings light into dark places. Light into dark places. And that's what I aim to do. To enlighten you to things that you may not be aware of. That's why I'm always telling you about spiritual. That everything in this life is spiritual. And that's, once you understand that, and you can live a happier life. A happier life. Free from trauma and drama and all of that. So, I I hope that that helps. And uh, again, I want to thank you for supporting this video. And I thank you so much for your comments. <laughs> I I really appreciate them so much. And I, I really hope that this message can help someone. You understand? I'm telling you, ladies, this message came from men of how they have been hurt by women using them for their sperm. Using them for their sperm. It's evil. You think you're getting away with something, but you're not. You're not. You'll never get away with that. So I'm really going to end it now. And I'm going to say thank you all for uh, viewing this video. And thank you for supporting this channel. And um, keep those comments coming. And I hope to see you next time.